are normal people, just like you, just like me. I have never ever thought I will become a refugee. When the war began in Syria, everything had changed upside down. There was no hope. There was no future. When my dad saw that, we cannot go to school properly. We cannot get in our basic needs. He cannot go to his work as a teacher. He decided that to flee our home, to go to Jordan, to live in a refugee camp. We had no choice. But definitely, I was really sad. I was crying all the time. I didn't want to flee my home, to leave everything behind, my friends, my relatives, my country, where I was born, especially my school. I thought I cannot continue my education in a place like the camp. And when my dad said, don't bring heavy things with you, just we want to take with us and pick up the most importantly things that we need. I didn't listen. I picked up with me my school books, and I didn't bring anything with me to the refugee camp, just my books. When we were on our way to Jordan, and we had to walk for three hours to get on the border with Jordan, my dad saw me, I was struggling to carry my bag, and he said, let me carry it, and yeah, you, are, you cannot carry it. And when he carried the bag, and he said, it's really heavy, what did you bring? I said, I brought my box. He just said, you are crazy. <laughs> Why you brought your box? You don't need them. I told my dad, if I didn't find the school in a refugee camp, I will study by those books. These books are my power. These books are my future. Open our rifle to the refugee camp. It was really difficult to deal with the life there, to start in a new place where there was no electricity, to live in tent and place completely different from Syria. Syria was different what the camp is. And first question I asked my dad, not to go outside the camp or to get in a better life. Just I asked him, where is the school? And when he found out there is a school, that moment it changed my life. And I realized all the challenges, nothing in front of getting on the right of education. First day, I went to school and I was thrilled to come back to school again and to have my knowledge and as a person who believes in education. But sadly, I saw many girls and many children who don't believe in education. Think the education, it is not a priority. It is not the best way for the future. In that moment, and as a person who considers the education is really important for me, I consider it important for everyone. So I told myself, to start my own mission, to encourage them to go back to school. And when I was going from tent to tent to tell the people about the importance of education, they were saying, it is not your job to tell us or to advise us. But they gave me stronger motivation. As they told me, those people who didn't listen to me, there is still something to do because I believe in education. Education is the way that we can face challenges, and it is the way we can rebuild our countries again. We need to a strong generation, generation to be educated, not just to be called refugees. We want to be hard numbers, not to count us as numbers in media or just we are refugees. We want the refugees to have other names, to be doctors, to be engineers, to be teachers, and whatever they want. Unfortunately, most of people think that refugees just they need basic needs. 
But this is not true. We need more valuable things. It is education. It is the, something that could make me a person. And the education is the thing which gives us everything. After three years of living in the camp and talking on the behalf of the children, and they became very known as an education advocate for them, I had the chance to come here to the UK. I was really happy to come here, to start a new life, to think more about my education, but I didn't stop to fight for others. Yeah, that's great. I go to school and I have chances here and uh, I can continue my studies. But I cannot be completely happy without seeing all that children can have access to education. I will do as much as I can to help them to be heard. Those people who are suffering, who are living in refugee camps, they didn't choose to become refugees. It is not their fault. It is something of not their making. But the hard situation, the difficult circumstances which forced them to become refugees and to suffer in their lives. No matter who you are, no matter how old you are, the most importantly, to have education, to have knowledge, to fight for your rights. We born, uh, like education, could give us everything we want. We can make a change and we may, uh, can make our lives much better. I'm not talking in front of you today because I'm better than people or I'm special. But no, this is not true. This is, I'm standing today because I have responsibilities more than people. When you talk on behalf of others, that means you have to be strong enough to make their voices to be heard and to tell people about their suffering. Look how lucky you are. You might think uh, the people who are listening today, all of them, maybe they think uh, our lives are not matter and we suffer. We don't want to go to school. Um, um, for example, I cannot do anything. But just look to the people who don't have education, who are suffering to have access to knowledge. You have schools, you have teachers, you have friends. But other people, they don't. We have to stand with them and to give them opportunities. It is not uh, something that uh, easy to do. It is really difficult, but it is not impossible. Just we have to start. As me as a person, I can spread my voice, I can tell you my stories, and it is not just a lesson to tell you about the importance of education. All of us know the, about the importance of education, and we know uh, that uh, education is the way to build our future, especially people here, they know these things. But the most important thing that we have to know to think about these things after we go home. We don't want to make today this event just to talk and then forget. We have to go to our homes and teach our children and to give them more hope and to let uh, them love each other and accept others. Refugees, people didn't want to flee their homes. So when we accept them, when we give them opportunities, in that moment, we can make them strong enough to, to go and rebuild their countries again. That's what we have to do. It is easy to talk about people, but it is difficult to help them. And me alone, I cannot do anything. Every single person here in this room could help us, could give us more opportunities. When you stand with us, when you love us, we can help you and you can help us. We cannot just uh, uh, listen to the media or just uh, without thinking about refugees and their difficulties. So we have to know these things, which is the most invaluable things. And for me, as a voice now, and as the youngest goodwill ambassador for UNICEF, I have a huge responsibility. It is a wonderful thing to be ambassador, but it is also a long way to go to, to, uh, to, uh, to help other children to have access to education and to give them knowledge, which gives them stability and which gives them skills for their futures. And as I said, no matter who we are, just we have to, all of us to work together and to have the solidarity. We don't win 
when we hate each others, but we win when we love each others, when we stand together to raise our voices and to give more hope for those who don't have hope. And this is actually responsibility for every one of us today and every day. And let's start today. We don't want to make a change tomorrow. We cannot actually have the change tomorrow without actually starting now. Now is the moment that could change our lives. That depends on you and everyone is listening now. It is, you know, the responsibility of all of us to make a global peace. Knowing each other, this is the great thing. And education is our way to, to have the world to be a better place and to be stronger. We cannot be stronger without education. Our education makes us who we are, who we want, and all of us are matter. It doesn't matter to, uh, to be great to start. You have to start to be great. And in that moment, you can build a better lives for others. And with you today, I hope all of us could do something and stand together and think more deeply about those who are suffering because they really need us. They don't need us when they are happy in their countries. They need us in this moment, in these difficult moments which when they are suffering and they don't have hope. And that depends on you. Give them hope and let's start today. And thank you so much.